Hello everyone. Welcome to Programming Knowledge. I hope you are all doing well. Today we will make my computer as a subscriber and my mobile phone as a publisher. Let's start coding to make my computer as a subscriber. Here all the things are same as in the previous video like firstly I am declaring the connected variable and it's set to false and also declare we will declare message received and also it is set to false we will see later why I am declaring this variable after that we have to declare four more variable and this variable contains the broker instance information this information is like broker address port user and password like in previous lecture now we are going to create a new client instance and the pass and we will pass the argument client identifier I am passing the my MQTT string as a client as identifier, same as before. To set password and username, we have to call username password set method, and it takes argument like user and password. Here, password is optional, but even then, I am passing it. Now, we have to specify a on connect callback function which is called when the broker respond to the connection request I am just assigning the function for now and define the actual code later finally I am calling the connect method for establishing the connection to the broker it takes as input the broker address and the port number as I have told that to process a callback function we have to call a method called loop start and this method also run a thread in background to handle the network connection and also sending and receiving data now we need to call the subscribe method and we have to pass the input as a uh, topic as a input that topic that we want to subscribe to it in this case we will subscribe to topic like uh, in the previous lecture mqtt slash second code so now any client published to this topic then that message is also is received by my computer since establishing the connection may take a while so i am writing loop so that loop is executed until previously declared connected variable is set to true as i said before the connection connected variable is set to true in our callback function which we are going to define later now to get message we have to wait for some time so that some client publish a message to the subscribe topic okay so i am writing a loop for that also so that loop is executed until previously declared message received variable which we have declared previously and we have set to false now here we will execute the loop until previously declared message received variable is set to true set to true yeah in this case also the message receive variable is set to true in callback function okay now now to finish the coding part we just need to specify the on connect callback function and on message callback function on connect callback function is same as before like if rc is equal to 0 then print a success message that client is connected to the broker and 
otherwise uh, print an error message or client is not connected to the broker now to see that message received by the client we have to define one more callback function this callback function is executed when client that is my computer receives a message so here i am just assigning the on message callback function and later we will define the on message callback function now let's define this on message callback function it takes argument like client user data and message so define on message if message is received we know that the message is in utf8 string so first of all we have to decode it so we have to um, decode that message so how we are accessing the messages there is a payload member of the class this payload will use will be used to get the actual message received from the subscribe topic so we will print like message received now here we are also able to get topic on the which the message is published like you have to only uh, write uh, message dot topic just like message dot payload here you have to write message dot topic and you have to print it okay let's run this code as you see here client is connected now in the app we have to provide the topic in which we want to publish the message which and the computer is subscribed to so here i am typing mqtt slash second code and now here we have to write the message hi i am writing hi and yeah as you see here the message is received hi and the message topic is mqtt slash second code now again let's uh, publish message hello from my mobile phone and let's publish it yeah as you see here the message received is hello and the message topic is mqtt slash second code so i hope you're all able to understand the mqtt publish and subscribe code coding part and thank you guys